guys, welcome back to another video, and today I'm going to show you how to make a uh, single sprite animation. Now this is uh, just how to make like a sprite animation basically. So if you have a sprite sheet and you want to make it animated, then all you have to do is follow the easy steps in this tutorial. Um, I'm just going to be animating a walking Sonic slowly getting faster so basically I have here a Sonic sprite sheet and here I have a, a Green Hill Zone background that I'm gonna be using so it's just basically gonna be Sonic so what you wanna do is first you wanna make sure that your uh, picture has an alpha channel or in other words it's transparent so what you want to do is you can right click it and somewhere down here no yes no what right here yes okay you go up here you right click it and uh, if it says add alpha channel click it I already have an alpha channel so my image is transparent so what you want to do is here I'll just start out with him walking straight forwards so alright this is the start you want to grab the rectangular select tool and then you want to select your image so or your sprite that you're gonna be using and you want to make sure that you leave no extra space so basically you are putting it exactly around the sprite where it has to be. you see it's touching this top it's touching this side and it's touching the bottom and this side so it cannot get any smaller uh oh oh my what is this I do not know what did I do did, did what happened to oh you know that's okay I was, I was like did I cut off part of your leg or something Sonic oh uh, that's just the gap in between his leg and his hedgehog spike thingies also by the way I am using uh, GIMP for this and it's amazing I like GIMP a lot uh, you should definitely check it out so here and then you want to control C and then what you want to do is file new and you want to make it 50 by 50 pixels your sprite should not be bigger than that and then you can zoom in and then edit paste as new layer and then you want to use and then your your thing should be pasted in here and then what you want to do is use this uh, align tool use, well okay I guess you could technically just okay use the move tool and you want to move it to the center so I think the align tool also does this <laughs> I'm I'm not really sure how to the alignment tool that alignment tool selected this uh, um, I'm really confused <laughs> okay anyways uh, just I guess try to get it in the center you can uh, grab your sprite and oh not your background your sprite not the drink okay okay not there we go so here just count in one pixel oh. let me guess okay okay just one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen so that should go 
Okay, I need to figure out how to use the alignment tool. Hold on. Okay, I figured it out. You just have to make sure you have your image selected and then double click this and then it will bring you to this screen. So you want to align to center and then align to center height thing. So that's always nice to have. Now you have your picture of Sonic, I guess, and then you want to basically go to your uh, other sprite sheet, your sprite sheet again, and then select your next thing. So here I'll use the rectangular selection tool and do that just select that and make sure that it is once again no space left out and then control C and then you want to go back to this image click file uh, wait no I mean edit paste as new layer and then uh, basically do the same thing just go to your thing thing here what what no not rectangular select this okay and then this yeah. need to make sure you have it selected which I do all right so that's there now the images will start to overlap each other so if you want to uh, make only the top layer visible you can just click this little eye that's next to your other layer so that works now you want to do this for every layer so I'll show it off with one more layer over here uh, I've got okay rectangular select also I'm not sure if I already said this but the place where I got all of these uh, sprite sheets will be in the description it's a really cool website that has a lot of sprite sheets from a lot of different uh, Sonic games. So, okay, control C. I'm over here. I'm gonna make this invisible real quick. And then file, I know, I mean edit, sorry. Paste as, new layer. Uh, use this and then make sure you have it selected once again align it and once that's aligned basically go to your sprite sheet and do the next one so I'm gonna do all of these real quick and I'll get back to you once I'm done alright so I'm almost done here all I have to do is align this last one so um, here and here Okay, so now that's all done, and if you think you're done now, you're not, I can show you what it looks like right now. Go to Filters, Animation, Playback, and this looks really small right now, because it's only a 50 by 50 pixel image, so it actually is pretty small. But you can see right up there, uh, Sonic is actually just laying over the other layers that were already created and we don't want that so let me just X out of that real quick and Sonic is weird I guess okay so uh, this is basically what your animation is gonna look like I don't think you want your animation looking like that so what you have to do is upload the background. Now here I have the Green Hill Zone like I said before. Uh, I think I'm just gonna use the first frame because that is 50 by 50. I think. Hopefully. <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> just kidding. I'm pretty sure it is. So here let me just select that How many pixels is that by? 
I'm not sure if I want to know. Let me let me see. Otherwise, I might have to use a different background. Here, edit, and then you want to do another paste as a new layer. You kind of got the drift. Okay, no, that is definitely not 50 by 50. <laughs> Look how big this is. Uh, maybe. Can I scale it down? No, because then it's just going to become really bad quality. I don't know if it's worth it. I can make it 50 by 50. This might work, actually, but everything's probably going to look really blurry. Okay, yeah, it looks terrible, but whatever. Actually, no. I I'm just going to... I'm I'm just gonna um delete. Okay. Let me okay. So you can do anything you really want for the background. Uh I guess that didn't really work out for me. I'll just do a nice uh I need to do some okay. I can do green, I guess, cuz that would stand out on Sonic. So let me just grab the fill bucket here. Badoop. Okay, that's our background now. And so now what you need to do is create a duplicate and move it up. Then create a duplicate of that background, then move that up. Duplicate that, then move that up. Then duplicate that, then move that up. Then one more time for me. It depends on how many uh, layers you have. But now these backgrounds are in between our other layers, so you won't be able to see them. Now what you want to do is just right-click each layer and do Merge Down, and that will merge that with the background that is under it, so it will all just be one layer again. Now you don't want to do this uh, Merge Down until you are 100% done. So now if you go to Filters, uh, Animation, and playback. I know once again it is very small but Sonic is walking you can see him there uh so is there any way I can like make this bigger so I can make him run super fast or I guess I guess one times is good so yeah that's uh that's about it that's the single sprite animation. You can do this with almost anything, uh, as long as you have a sprite sheet. Uh, this is a nice sprite sheet. Once again, I will put a link to this in the description. And I'm not sure why this background didn't really work, but whatever. So after you're done, let me just get rid of that, and I can do that and what you want to do is file and then you can click export or, I mean export as and then you can export it as a gif file or a video I think so yeah that's about it uh, make sure to like comment and subscribe and as always thanks for watching I'll see you guys